Because if you're doing it just for the sake of doing it, it makes no sense. But when you're talking about... That's true. Yeah. yeah stay there. <laughs> stay there. No, no, no. You said it. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Now you know where we're going. Okay, okay, there. okay, okay. Okay, so here we are back out on the streets here. We've got a sign here. It says humane slaughter is a myth. Prove me wrong. We're going to see if the public can prove me wrong. Let's do it. Corona shake. <laughs> of course, of course. Do you want to come for a debate? Yeah, okay, up. sweet then. Sit down, my friend. What's your name? Z. Z? Yeah. Good to I'm Joey. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So basically, um, yeah, so basically we've got a sign here. It says humane slaughter is a myth. Prove me wrong. Um, now, I'm just let you know a few things before we start yeah there are ways to kill someone that are like mercy killing so someone's suffering like if an animal's suffering you can't help them and you've exhausted your options and the only option is like euthanasia then I would say that that's the most humane option but I'm talking about um, killing animals for food clothing things like this um, and you know how they say that we kill them humanely in slaughterhouses over here and in Australia and all this I contest that. I, th I don't think that that's. I think that's a myth. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's not the case everywhere. I mean, it, it can it can be a myth in aspects, but I think in terms of the general slaughter of animals for food, um, you, you see, you're basing off. You said Australia, right? You pick a place anywhere you want. Okay. How about the UK? Yeah. Okay, the UK. Yeah, I'm very familiar with the UK. Yeah. So. What part of, like, let's talk about UK practices in slaughter. Yeah. Can you sort of choose one and then we can talk about whether or not that's humane? Do you know much about the slaughter practices? Um, to a degree, my, my grandparents own a farm in Zimbabwe, so I you know, kind of understand it. I've killed animals for food before. Okay. Um, and, you know, the first time I killed a chicken, to be fair, I was like eight years old. Yeah. And we ate that chicken afterwards. I didn't eat chicken for like at least a month, maybe two months afterwards. It didn't taste the same. Why? Um, I'll be honest, there was the emotional aspect of it. Having killed the animal and the way it died as well wasn't like... Um, I don't know if you're familiar with killing chickens, but there's a like an old tail. And they say that when you cut it, its head, it has to be clean. And even then it can, you know, running, running with, um, what's it called? Uh, Running like a headless chicken. That I've heard it. that expression, yeah, yeah that and that's expression. because they still run around. Yeah, yeah. and that literally happens. Yeah. I cut its head, it didn't come off cleanly, it was kind of hanging, and it just kept running. Oh. Well, we could talk well. about that if you want. Like, <laughs> do you think that that was humane? Um, no, I mean, that was me though. So that was, so that was physically, I was a child, don't forget. I was only eight, maybe, seven, eight. I would um, say you were less conditioned to eating animals then. You Maybe you were your <laughs> purest self back then. Yeah, yeah, so I think like, having the mind that I had at the time, not ever having done it before, having eaten animals all the time, but um, yeah, killing it and then doing that, I couldn't, honestly, I could not eat chicken for at least two months after that. It was so difficult. It was just the emotional trauma of it, I think. Um, but after that, I mean, I kind of got normalized to it again. I think the, the general perspective of human society is that we believe we have to eat animals to survive. Um, I do understand that in my, understanding anyway I think the majority that we eat is 80% gluttonous so we eat more uh, to feel good as opposed to actually survival okay um, yeah well we, d we do a lot of things that aren't for survival I mean we do things for our well-being and comfort as well I mean yeah. I mean I don't have a problem with having a basic level of well-being but I, when when you're getting well-being from the suffering of billions of animals in a huge system yeah. built to slaughter them then I have a problem with that type of you know getting that type of satisfaction I, I get that. We're, we're kind of getting off topic a little bit because yeah. I want to keep this on whether or not like, it's yeah, humane yeah. to cut an animal's head off because like you're obviously sitting down because you don't think it's a myth. You think you can kill an animal humanely. We could, uh, like, I know a lot about this. You might not know about the slaughter practices here. I can yeah, talk yeah. about a few for you so you know. So there's gas chamber stunning, which is the main okay. way they stun pigs. Okay, they stun them in a... So what they do is they, they force them into a, a chamber yeah, and it yeah. gets dumped down into a dungeon filled with gas and CO2. Yeah. And now the, the uh, industry were touting it as the most humane method. They just gently fall asleep. Cameras were left in there by activists. 
the animals thrash and scream and beg for mercy. Try, they can rip their own trotters off trying to escape these cages and they suffocate and die. And what happens is the CO2 reacts with mucous membranes, the, the, the wet stuff in your eyes and in your mouth and in your lungs. And it burns them. It burns them. You ever crack a can of Coke in your eye? Yeah, you get that stinging feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get yeah, that. So that's, that's, that's gas chamber stunning. Then they, they, get, they come out the other side, they stab them in the throat. It's really horrifying. I've got some footage here if, we, if you wanted to have a look. But like... Okay, yeah, go on. We, we can. We can while, while I'm explaining the other yeah, ones, yeah. I'll just show you a little bit of gas chamber footage. So, basically, the other, the other uh, method would be like a bolt gun. You're probably familiar with a bolt gun. Yeah. So they, they get a cow and put them in a knock box. It's like and a it's small like a, room, yeah, and then yeah, they, yeah, sh yeah. they shoot they them in the skull. Mm. Yeah, and then they'll stab them in the throat, drain them of their blood. Afterwards as well. Okay. okay. Yeah, because they have to drain the blood out their yeah. their muscles. You know, you're not gonna eat meat that has blood running through it. So they. I got, I got yeah. that. I yeah, mean, I mean, and then we've got chickens where they just run. They hang up by their little feet and they run through an electrical bath, and then they run them through like a rotisserie blade on Oof. a big conveyor belt. So it just Oof. slashes their throat open. Sometimes they miss the the, the electrical bath. Seen plenty of footage and exposés on that, and then like, like so these are these are like some of the practices here in the UK. Okay. Um, let's just look at what we got here. It's humane slaughter. Very well researched. Yeah, That's well, I've it. been. This is my job, isn't it? <laughs> um, Fair enough. Yeah. So um, here, this is blunt force trauma. They're smashing piglets' heads on the ground because they don't grow fast enough. Now, a red tractor approved farm in. Yeah. Um, Leicestershire was recently exposed by Viva doing this. This here is in Australia, but they did the. You can look up the uh, red tractor farm as well that Viva yeah. exposed. This is a gas chamber here. Is that one pig? So there are. No, oh, there's, there's a there's a, there's a few of them. Yeah, it's easier to slaughter pigs like this because they're a bit. They thrash around a bit. Yeah. So if they're together, they're a bit calmer. So that, the gas is at the bottom. Uh, Oh yeah, is that the so that's the gas being injected in now because they're struggling. Well, the gas is at the bottom and they drop them down into it. So why are they doing all that? Because they're Whoa. suffering. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. They're trying to escape. Uh. Yeah. Do you think? Uh, what do you think? That's a humane way to die. You know what? So there's two ways to. Okay. In my opinion, there's two levels to this. Okay. Let me just pause this for a sec. There's two levels to this. So, if you're looking at it from a human construct perspective, then I understand where you're coming from, definitely. But then if you take away the human, the human element of morality and of time, for example, because at the end of the day, the only things, the things we value now in terms of morality is only due to, to time and education as time has gone on. You wouldn't have this opinion 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Most people wouldn't have this opinion 50 years ago. Well, in fact, there's a lot of things we did, uh, say, 100, 200 years yeah, ago that were immoral, I know, exactly. and we caught up, yeah, haven't we? Caught we? Up as time goes on, yeah, we're like that. Well, we should make that illegal, you know? Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, that's as I say, that's human constructs. As we evolve as people, yeah. we change our emotional understandings of the world and around each other. So we yeah. kind of. Yeah, morality is a human construct. Exactly, I agree with yeah, you. It it's a subjective human construct. Do you think that means that it's invalid? Um. When you're looking at it from a human perspective, it is valid. But then if you look at it from the grand scheme of things, it's not very valid. And it's really not. Because if you look at it from an animal's perspective, whether they die or not, they're still dying regardless. Whether it be painful or not painful, they're still dying. They're still gone. Me as a human being, how I, how I die makes no difference. The fact of the matter is I'm still dying. Brother, whether it be no, painful or not. I don't believe you. No, honestly. That's like, my... That's so my if, yeah, like you're on. saying you don't care if you get executed before your time or you get to live out your life with a general amount of well-being till you grow old and see your children grow up. The way I see it, if that's the way I was supposed to go, it's the way I was supposed to go. I couldn't avoid it. There's nothing I could do to avoid that. You don't think, therefore, murder is justified then, do you? Mm, not saying it's justified, but that in itself is, again, a human construct. People kill each other. We do things to each other. Animals do things to each other all the time. But it's not... We don't look at it as a perspective of, that's not right. That animal should have done that to the other. That lion should not have killed the other lion. They're both lions. Why are they killing each other? Yeah, They're okay. trying to dominate... Yeah. A ecosystem, an environment. But I we don't agree with like, like, like yeah. lions do things in nature, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we don't navigate our morality by the actions of lions, no, 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 you know. No, we don't, we don't, and we don't. like you, like you don't walk down the street and just 
punch people in the face for no, no reason. No, no, like, no. Why don't you do that? Because it's a positive and negative way of thinking about things. Yeah. Doing something like that is a negative. You care about like, human's rights, yeah, yeah, don't course, you? Of course, of you course. You care about the rights of people mm. and, yeah, like, well, I, I do, do and I, I care. Do. I do. Yeah, and I care about animals should have not the same rights, but at yeah. least the right not to be tortured and killed or executed and mass bred. But why do you think that, though? Because, I mean, you're saying that as if they have some sort of intelligent... And some sort of intelligence. That they have sentience. Do you and know what sentience okay, is? What's your understanding of sentience? Well, well let's just talk about sentience. Like, yeah, yeah. sentience is the, the ability to experience reality. And then you can talk about consciousness, like your awareness, self awareness. But how do you know they're sentient? Well, how do I know you're sentient? Because I'm speaking to you, interacting with you. You can hear my okay. emotional okay. outlays as well as my. The knowledge that I've you, accumulated over time. You that, can communicate that you're sentient to me, but I, I, yeah, you still can't prove you? it to me. But how are you? How, so how are you proving that these animals are sentient then? Because well, consciousness comes from the brain, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have we have a brain, and animals have a brain. Do you so agree? Do ants, yeah. yeah. Ants have a brain. They might have a tiny, tiny little brain. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'd still say like, like it's really a, a, a debate, a topic of debate, whether or not all s insects are sentient. Uh, they might have a mild amount of sentience. I mean, bees. You could start arguing, yeah. but like with. A pig, you, I mean, the debate is off the table. It's it, scientific it, consensus is it, is it, that... Is it the fact that they're being killed that you're recognising the sentience and that they should not be in that bracket? Because if it were to, if we if we could live off ants, for example, there's not really any good or bad... Do you have any good or bad way of killing ants and eating ants? We can talk about that, but I just want... You're, I, I, don't want I want to stay on the topic <laughs> yeah, whether yeah, yeah. or not, like, you believe that a pig is conscious because you kind of um, you might, you're acting like that you don't know or you're a bit unsure whether or not I've, a dog I've, listen, what about a dog I've lived on a farm for years yeah. I've, I've lived around animals cows pigs shit, all of that bro so yeah. I, I've been around them I've lived that life so like for me where you're coming from I understand it but I think you're kind of basing it more of on a I think you're focusing more on the emotional aspect of being a human being looking at death as opposed to the very fundamentals of survival well I understand but they're being killed. We're not trying to survive here, me and you, right now in the UK. Like we've got a, oh, yeah. we've got a pretty decent. We've evolved, like, yeah, yeah. We've yeah, evolved like, a lot, a we lot go more. In the supermarket before, right yeah, now, yeah. buy some vegan stuff. I don't but know. That's because of our. Yeah. Of we've evolution. progressed and we're civilized exactly. now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I mean there was lots but of things happening back then. Fifty we, years ago, different situation. Dude, people were enslaving each other. There was like horrible things going on back then. I know. I understand yeah, that. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. So like now, like now, we've we've got this opportunity, freedom of like to choose in the supermarket yeah, yeah. you know other people like tribesmen they might not have the freedom of choice that we have here in civilization but we can go in the supermarket buy some fruits and vegetables get mm -hmm. some tofu get some vegan stuff do you disagree that these animals are conscious beings having a subjective experience do you think animals can feel pain i think anything can feel pain i think like, any i think any animal can feel pain okay, okay that's yeah. that's better Literally, any animal can feel animal, pain yeah, yeah. okay so if they're not sentient how can they feel pain So you're so okay. Sentient. How can they feel anything if they're not conscious? What does sentient actually mean? Okay, you know, have you ever been knocked out? I've been knocked out a few times. Once I've been knocked okay. out. Once, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when you were knocked out? What happened? You just In blacked that out. Moment, yeah, I just blacked out. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, then you've lost your sentience. You've lost your consciousness then. Okay, but I'm still a living being, aren't I? You're still living, but you're not conscious. Okay. Because Animals. Of the fact that there's no thought. In that moment you see how you're experiencing this reality right now yeah, yeah. yeah. so you're understanding okay 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 so why well, so why is it any different then for a pig exactly well you just asked ask the question for the me human then human being that's what so okay well, there okay. are differences between us you know yeah, you know what, yeah. I'd, I'd say that you know human beings are a lot more complex animals and yeah. you know we're we're doing amazing things and you know but a pigs it might be a little bit more simple more more of a childlike mentality yeah, so yeah. pigs have the intelligence of say a three-year-old child they are sentient, conscious individuals. They're more intelligent than dogs in scientific research. So the science is not on your side there. There was a, 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 a thing that came out called the Declaration of Consciousness, the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness, uh, Consciousness, giving animals like consciousness in this big thing. They all signed together. Okay. Fish are even sentient and conscious individuals that can feel pain and okay. display intelligence and all of these things. So basically, I was just trying to get you to get come to the realization yourself, like because they can experience reality, because they can experience suffering, well-being. Why the hell are we mass breeding these conscious individuals? How do you know that, though? How do we know? That's my question. How do you know that? Well, prove to me that you're conscious. Prove to me that they are conscious. 
Well, we can with research. We can see that they experience. Uh, so when you, they experience noxious stimuli. So like if they they can they react differently to pain. So like a pig might limp on their leg if it's hurt. That's any animal. That's it. so. Yeah. There's okay. There's and cool. you like okay, you limp no, no, when, so you, are you limp when you're sore and, and you limp. If you understand, so conscious. So if, even if it's sentient, yeah. There's a level of sent, sentience. Then there's a level of sentient intelligence. So you can only you can be sentient and experience only two emotions: pain and let's say happiness well they have a very complex behavior they have they, they how do you know that that's my question where you how do you know these the same way i know that you're conscious but that you know that because of the fact that i can literally communicate to you animals can communicate to us okay and did, you, did you hear those pigs screaming when they're in the gas well, what, what does that tell I'm you saying to you you only have two in terms of animals you can only get two levels of communicate either pain screaming or nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? So like, how are you? That's what. I'm, okay, how so are you getting? Can, why can you train a pig to yeah. do things? But even in that training, though, do you're not getting anything. What, what are you getting from training an animal, a dog, for example? What are you getting from no, no, that? I'm, so I'm saying that that proves that they are experiencing reality more yes. than just plain pain and pleasure. Two emotions. Yeah, but, but they're more complex than what you're saying. But then you can also train, for example, you can train. You can train anything to a very basic level. You can, can, you train ant, you can train a cucumber? You can train an ant. Can you train a cucumber? It's not a living thing. Once you cut it from its plant, once you cut it from no, its... Pl- no, a cucumber root, is a living thing. They're not conscious, but I'd say they're living. Once you cut it away from its root, it's no longer living. It's essentially well, just you, there to be digested. Can you tell a, uh, like a tree what to do? Supposedly, people talk to trees. They play music for trees, and it changes the outset of the tree and things like that I've, yeah. I've heard of experiments but Paranorm- their paranormal to. studies are yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know how legitimate those ones but are that but we have the we- same way with regards to what you're describing about sentience is only because time has gone on and we can understand that they're sentient 50 years ago there weren't any experiments that we could have done to oh, understand right. the sentience there now there is hurt an animal and tell me how they respond yes now there is because we have gained that understanding supposedly based okay. on what you're saying so but what about you find a deaf mute person okay yeah. now you are just going to assume that they're conscious aren't you mm, deaf mute person that can't communicate their consciousness to you like you said to me you can communicate the only it to reason me we can do it because you're physically looking at a human being so you naturally assume okay. that they have sentience okay, what do human beings have eyes we yes. have a mouth, yep. nose, ears, yep, 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 we have a yep, yep, skull yep, yep. with a brain in it, exactly. we have a heart and organs, exactly. okay? Yep. And we walk around yep. and we breathe, mm-hmm. okay? Now, all of these are, uh, can be attributed to animals, pigs, yep. cows, chickens, fish. So why don't you give them the benefit of the doubt, but you'll give, say, a deaf mute person who can't same, communicate? As I said, will apply to an ant. We step on ants how many times a day? Millions yep. of them per day. Why are you separating an ant to a pig? Okay, yeah, well, we, why do you separate an ant to a human? I step in ants all the time. Why don't I just go out and massacre so why, a bunch so of people? Why separate a pig from a human then? It's, uh, I mean, if if to be honest, the well, line, I, the I lines, general, the lines, there are there are, I separate you from a child. Yeah. So I'll say like, okay, if there's an infant there, I'm going to treat you differently mm-hmm. to the infant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So a pig, like I'm going to treat a pig a little bit differently. But why are you treating it like that? But I wouldn't execute it's them. Your choice, isn't that right? Well, I would say because out of from uh, my moral system says and that your I believe of sentience. Yeah, I believe that they experience reality. Okay, so I don't want to put them through suffering or execute them for a needless meal like a piece of bacon when I can make different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, we're gonna step on ants and stuff. You know, I'm gonna step on ants and accidents are gonna happen, and Mm. we can't live without causing zero harm. That doesn't give us moral justification to go and abuse and kill dogs and pigs and other people. And you know, we still have a, you know, some type of moral system that accounts for. Yeah. But the main issue, okay, the main issue behind the whole animals being killed to such wide. to, to such a degree that you understand it to be is because of money. This is purely just to, to, for, for yeah. McDonald's and KFC yeah. and all these other businesses good point, good point. to generate a lot of finances and money. But us as a general people, we don't really... We, 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 we digest food. When you, go you to the, when you go to the supermarket and you yeah, buy yeah. like some chicken wings or whatever, or like a steak... It could be from the same kind so of... You're, yeah, you're yeah. supplying that demand. Uh, you're demanding that they supply you with butchered animals. Mm. So that, this is what, you know what a vegan is, right? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. I do, I it's do. It's basically a boycott of those industries and funneling your money into industries that don't mass breed and execute yeah, animals on mass. Yeah, definitely. My friend's a vegan. I mean, I've, I've debated it on it a few times. I understand, I understand completely we don't need to be eating animals. I understand that. I do understand that. Uh, but I also understand that 
we at one point were only eating meat because of the fact that they produce protein for us and they helped us to uh, have energy on a daily basis. At, at some point. At some point, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't that's necessarily be the case now. Yeah, yeah, I understand yeah. that. People used to um, use other people too without their consent back then. Cannibalism, yeah. yeah cannibalism, crazy. slavery, yeah. all of these horrible, horrible yeah. things. It's, I know, uh, yeah. And yeah. they still do it to, to this day. They, you know, they're doing it. Human slavery still exists. And it's just like, just because we did it <laughs> doesn't mean we should continue doing it. Doing it. I get that. I do understand that. I do understand that. Um, and I think what you're doing is, I think what you're doing is correct. You, you're right in what you're doing. Um, but you are going to get into, like, people like myself. I get where you're coming from. I resonate with it. I've been there. I've had to kill an animal. Um, so have at I. At the same time. I've killed animals too. Oh, oh fair enough. Yeah. Um, but you know, I understand that it's a human construct at the same time to a degree. Like our understanding of pain, for me personally, this is just me. This is just me personally. But when I think of death, for example, mm. I don't think of it as being the be or an end all, and I don't think of it as being something that I have to fear. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should take someone's right to life away no, just no, because no. you don't believe. That's not my right. That's yeah, not yeah, my right. Yeah. So, so what about that's the animals? No one else's either. So what about the animals? That's uh, not yeah. your right. That's not. No, no, no. Well, to be to be honest, that is, as I say, a human construct. So if that person who is killing that animal, they think they're right in doing it because they're feeding someone. I can't. How, who am I to say they can't? Is it right through the eyes of the animal though? But that's where the issue is. How you understand the rights? Of, like for an animal, if you think about animals, they've been through thousands of years of being slaughtered. If anything, over time. So humans. I wouldn't say to the same degree. Of course, there, there hasn't been an atrocity like the animals have faced in the human context. It's just uh, yeah. animals outnumber us. The amount of animals that are killed in four weeks outnumbers the amount of humans that have ever existed on Earth. Yeah, but that's so, so, so like the under. Okay, this is going to sound a bit. It's probably going to sound a bit mad, but I think a lot of animals over time get conditioned, same way as human beings. We have memories in our DNA, right? Things that we pick up in our DNA that carry over to our children and the children's children mm -hmm. that are naturally there. So like okay. animals, for example, you're talking about pigs and cows. These are the, probably the most cultivated animals in history that are being used to kill and eat for those benefits. So if anything, these animals, I'm not saying that's the case, but potentially may have been desensitized to that entire idea that you believe is being pain. Oh, really? So what um, you just saw then yeah. was actually just what? What were they doing then when they were suffering, screaming for their lives? Well, as I say, that's an understanding. No, I was asking. Well, what were taking. they doing? What were they doing? Like just, just for, I'm uh, just curious. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it didn't look nice. Were they didn't suffering? Look nice. it didn't look nice. But what I'm saying to you is, yeah. these are processes that have been there for thousands of years. If anything, I'm pretty sure we've been killing animals for like maybe what? My understanding. Oh, it's probably going into like a million years, yeah. more millions of years. But I like, we've been here, we haven't been alive for a million years. Two, yeah. I think two hundred fifty thousand years okay. humans have been here. Okay. There was like uh, Neanderthals years. and like you were going on to like, you know, Paleolithic even eras. The, well, actually, no. I think even with them, it was a lot of plant-based. Okay. Um, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of plant-based. Um, yeah. But we've um, been killing each other for just as long. Yeah. yeah so I don't. Yeah, th this is true. an appeal to tr tradition. Fall it's actually a fallacy. What you're logical fallacy. What you're saying. Like we've been yeah. doing it for ages. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying it. It may sound a bit weird, or you know. But it's I'm illogical saying, or, it, because mm. it doesn't dictate morality. What, what we've done but in the past. Is a, it's a human construct. What's of course it is. A human construct. We should adhere to it, th though. Yeah. Mm. That's why you don't go around punching people in the head for cutting in line at the true, supermarket. True, true, true. But then I, uh, you know, like there's been ex there's been there's been situations where people kill people and they have no justification why they did it, and you do yeah, it. That's called murder. Yeah, that is called murder. And if I was to walk up a person, you put that person, you put that person, you put that person under a scientific test, lie detector, and you find out why he did it. Sometimes you find the odd people that don't understand why they've done something. So yeah. It may have just been coded into them. Who knows? You, well, you know why you're paying for, like, you know you're paying for animals to be butchered and killed and often tortured and most pigs in the UK are factory farmed, most chickens in the UK, the vast majority are factory farmed and they're being executed in slaughterhouses and you go into the supermarket and you pay for that, you know you're pay what you're paying for. How do you know? As a human being, you don't know for sure every bit of meat you're buying has been slaughtered in a certain way. You don't know. That's the only problem. You There's choose the way of slaughter. That's, this is what the whole debate is about. Do I believe choose? humane slaughter... No, I want you to choose the most humane way to kill an animal yeah. humane slaughter is a myth i don't believe it exists if an animal wants to live right they desire life like you desire your life a pig might desire their life in a certain way but they don't want to be murdered because they run from being executed trust mm. me if you were to take their life against their will that can never be humane 
What's will though, by a human construct? Well, they have a will to live. Animals have a will to live. You can test that will too, and, they ha and we, it's easy to test an animal's will to live. Okay. How do you test it? Well, you don't see like animals going around committing suicide, do you? They, don't, they, they, avoid pain and, uh, they avoid pain and suffering. They have survival built into them. They are sentient. Uh, they want to, they, they, they eat. They don't just lay there and starve and die. And if you put a knife to a dog's throat, they'll run away and cower. Like, uh, put a knife to a pig's throat, they'll run away and cower. Cows try to escape a knock box all the time. They, they have fear, they don't want to die, they suffer. But even if they are suffering, they live through it because they want to survive. You know, like, there's heaps of things that show you that animals want to live. Um, it's just the same way, like... <laughs> do you know that the human brain has a... Did you know, did you know, okay, do you know there's people in the world, not a lot of them, but you know there are people in the world that have this condition in their brain where it reverts to a very survival, very basic survival instinct and it can happen over a year, it can happen over for, for five minutes, a month, it can happen over for their entire lifetime. But there are a few people in the world that have this condition, it's some sort of syndrome. Um, you can Google it, but it's there. Now, that what it does to these people is they revert away from all their worldly functionalities, their family functionalities, the feeling of love, the feeling of happiness, and they revert purely down to survival only. Yeah. They don't live at home. They don't eat the basic things we eat. What they'll start doing is they eat things like coal, they'll eat dirt, they eat plants. Uh, and they, this can happen for an untold amount of time. It depends on the person. Different people, different well, amounts you, of time. Are we saying, look, what, yeah. is this going to tie I'm back into, into humane that, slaughter? I'm into that right there. Okay. So if you're talking about survival as an animal, if you think We're talking about, about the will, will to live, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Live, but yeah. you're basing this, as I keep saying, you're basing this off a human construct of an understanding based off your emotions as a human being. No, no, it's logical and it's scientific. It's logical because we're human beings do and you we believe in science. Built a logic. I'm, a serious question: Do you believe in I science? Do. I do. So you believe in like testing things out and researching and you know and understanding these things reality. Created, things, okay. These are things we've okay. created to stand a justification to your opinion well science is not something you create it's something that you it's a tool to use science, to find out about reality yeah science in itself is a human construct because science the, the science you're talking about changes every day for example physics geography understanding of the world changes every day yeah, so your opinion what I'm trying to, yeah, what we, I'm trying we get to, better what i'm trying to say to you is your yeah. opinion right now is your opinion right now yeah but as time goes on your opinion will evolve as time as as we get more educated and the world evolves and the human construct Okay. If your understanding of you of, of sentience will well, change. Well, we, we know right now, right, that animals are conscious. That if that I know right now you. that you're conscious, that could change in the future. We might get a study that says that you're not, and then we can kill you or whatever. But oh, yeah, like, science. but like, you know, do you have a problem with people being cruel to dogs and things like that? Yeah. Because if you're doing it just for the sake of doing it, it makes no sense. But when you're talking about that's true, yeah, yeah stay there, <laughs> stay there. No, no, no. You said it. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Okay, now you know where we're going. Okay, 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 okay. So okay, why okay, are you okay, buying okay, bacon? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> you're good at this, aren't you? You know what you're doing. All right, cool. Um, bacon. I don't really buy bacon, if I'm honest. Oh, Not really. Uh, well, why but are you buying animal people? products? Okay, let's call it. Let's let's be broad. Because I'm not trying to go hungry. Okay, but I'm not hungry, brother. Okay. I'm not going hungry, man. I've been vegan six years now. I'm not used to vegan food. Uh, okay, so does that morally justify executing billions of animals? No, but it's my choice. It doesn't mean that... Oh, it do yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, your, it's your choice. Yeah, it's is it choice, a moral choice? It doesn't mean that what I'm buying necessarily is implicating that more animals are being killed in that inhumane way that you're speaking about. To my understanding, right? No, no, I think it's all... In, like, this, think all I think so, humane oh, slaughter right, is so a myth. Anything in general. Exploiting any, any, and any, killing animals any, cannot be done humanely. Well, then you're going to have a tough... I, I'll be honest, I, I, I get it, but... You know, 70% of the animals in the UK are factory farmed. And when you take it... So that includes cows and lambs. But when you take it down to pigs and chickens, okay, you're talking chickens, 95 or over percent of chickens are factory farmed, living horrific lives. And then they're all executed in a slaughterhouse. And pigs, you're talking over 90 percent of pigs are factory farmed. They don't mm. see outdoors. Mm. So I've been inside of these farms here in the UK and they're horrible. So where are you buying your chicken and pork from? Humans taking advantage of lesser beings has always been part of history. What is that? That's yeah, but what does that mean? Is that like exactly a moral justifier? No, no, no. So it means exactly what I said. Yeah, like, but like, and it's never humans have taken advantage of other humans as well, man, yeah, and we still never, do. It's never, it's never going to change. So, no, to be you honest, you can change your behavior. Like, this is I like, definitely like, can. Like, I definitely can. So I definitely yeah, like, can. I agree. I, I don't expect in any way once whatsoever. For the world to change in, in, in the light in the same light like right. terms. That's why you're you're a smart guy, you're 
you don't seem like a fully violent psychopathic killer, right? You seem like you're chill and that. Like, yeah. you can make a choice right now yeah. to end your contribution to something that you may or may not find immoral. But I think you do because in the dog context, you kind of hit the, hit the nail on the head there. But like, I'm not asking everyone here in the world to change, and I don't know if that's even, you know. It's kind It'd of a utopian nice. idea right oh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I I, I'm just talking on an individual basis. Like yeah. you, right now, go in the supermarket. You're paying for chickens and pigs and cows and fish, and I don't know what other animal products yeah. you're eating. Eggs and dairy. All those animals are all slaughtered and exploited and often treated cruelly. Well, if you put it in your terms, then yeah, you're 100 right. Um, any, any killing of an animal is inhumane. Yeah, unless right unless like they're suffering and there's no other way. And like if you were suffering and you yeah, said, right. "Bro, euthanize me. I can't go on like this. There's no way out. I'm going to be suffering for the next eight years, and they can't find a cure, and this is painful, and they can't find a painkiller for me or something." You know, like mercy killing is an exception, but, but what that's, we that's that. But I this mean, is pleasure killing. What we're doing to them. Yeah, yeah. To you, you are right. I mean, but then the only reason we can't understand animals that to that degree, and even then, even no, if we, we have, we do. You don't, but the scientists have. But the science in itself, like the sci- I, I, don't, I, I mean, you can argue with I the. I don't like science. I don't really know. I just, just, I understand science, but it changes too much, in my opinion, bro. Like science. Well, I think it's good that we understand that animals feel pain and, that, and are conscious. And you know, it'll keep, it'll keep evolving. It'll keep evolving and changing, and our understanding of animals will become more, more advanced as time goes on. Um, and what you may find in ten years' time, our understanding of animals was a lot more than what it should be in ten years' time. Who, who knows? Who knows? But. I understand what you're saying. But for now, you don't you don't want to walk up and step on that pigeon and watch them suffer for ages and die. Because that's pointless. I'm not going to eat that well, pigeon. Well, yeah, so it's pretty pointless. To, well, if you're going to eat that, you that you would then think that that stepping on this pigeon and watching them suffer and die was okay. No, I wouldn't do it in that way though. Like, okay. how would you do it right now? There's a pigeon there. No the food. Floor. No, 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 no other food but that pigeon right there. Just check out Pidgey Smalls over here. That's a flying rat though. No, they're right. When, they're right. Yeah. That's speciesism. Do you know what speciesism is? <laughs> yeah, when you when you when you look yeah, you, down on a species. Yeah, you look down on yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a oh, pigeon. That. It's a rat. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. a rat? Well, rats are cool, intelligent. They feel pain. You know, true, pigs true, are true. cool. I hate when people call cops pigs because why would you like, especially corrupt cops that are assholes? Why would you call like an innocent animal? A bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 a pig didn't do nothing wrong to anyone. We hurt pigs. I like how you put that. <laughs> we hurt pigs. Yeah, yeah. We're gas chambering them by the billion. Yeah. How dare we, you know, label a human a pig when we're the ones being evil to, you know, pigs. Yeah. So, but anyways, bro, let me give I you a, let me give you a, a little. Uh, I've got some information for you anyway. Yeah, hit me up. I appreciate the chat because that was interesting. I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect you to go like. <laughs> But yeah, we we agree. Morality nah, is a I human construct, but like that yeah. doesn't mean it's invalid. Yeah, yeah. We have it for a reason yeah. because like if we lived without morality, it would be mayhem. So like. No, you're 100 percent right. Laws and rules. That's why they're there. Yeah, I get you. Because otherwise 100%. we can do what we want to each other, man. No one's yeah, going to yeah. do anything about it. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. That's very true. I get this you. has got a couple of docos in there. It's got places to eat. Oh. Places to shop. What you can replace. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Yes, you can get all your vegan options from all these places. Uh, oh, that's pretty clever. Happy cow. Yeah, that's pretty smart. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty smart. I like that. I like Thanks, that. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's one thing to tell people that something's not, you know what I mean? But then if you actually give them the... The know-how. Actual know-how. Yo, I like that. I you respect should, that. You should, we should know why we're doing it, though, because otherwise you're not going to be motivated. No, nah, definitely. I like, yo, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh. That's nice. Z? Z, yeah. Z, good to meet you, man. Nice Joey. to meet you too, man. Take care, mate. See you soon. Enjoy. Thanks, guys. See you, brother. All right. Good talking to you, man. Hey, eh? yeah, take care. Hello. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say, at, like six months ago, I came across your videos. I was vegetarian for about two years, and then I was like, right, I've got to go vegan. So I've been vegan for about six months, and oh, yeah. just like the thing is, because the reason I went vegetarian was for the animals, but um, I'd say the dairy industry is more hidden, isn't it? Like in what it does. So, you yeah. know, if you're eating a cake, you don't see flesh, do you? You just... But, yeah, your videos really inspired me, so I'm like... Oh, wow, what's just... your name? Tilly. 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 Nice to meet you, yeah. Tilly. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no, it's really cool. How long have you been vegan? Six months um, now? Yeah, six months. Okay. Um, in school, there was nothing for me to really have. How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, um, so, yeah, there was nothing in school for me. There was nothing vegan at all. Yeah. Except fruit. Just yeah. fruit, which didn't really fill me up. But just before I left, um, 
I like did a petition thing to get some vegan meals. Oh, cool. So they got in touch with me and said that this year there's going to be some vegan meals Good work. in the school. So yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you. Good Wanted work. To say hi. No worries. Really good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Take See care. You that was an interesting debate. <laughs> he had my work cut out for me there, right? <laughs> um, would it, yeah, I don't know. How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> like, it's, I really, I thought he was a cool guy though. Like, I really liked talking to him. But when you start saying, but how do you know science is right? <laughs> how do you know animals are sentient? Um, how do you know they're feeling pain? How do you know that's just not an expression of evolution? And, you know, that's when, you know, come on. But yeah. Every meal I have, I have it with her, so. She cares about you and she, she knows that you're against animal cruelty. She cares about the animals. Because she cares about me. It's because she wants, she's like you. She wants everybody to be a vegan. So the animals don't get tortured and killed. There's a reason behind it. It's not just her ego talking. Well, I know it's not it, but you know she used to absolutely love me. You know she used to eat her meat. Me too.